I changed this one thing about myself and it trickled down into every other element of my life, almost like a domino effect. First of all, thank you so much for clicking on this video. Welcome or welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, I'm Chanel and this is my little YouTube family. Don't forget to subscribe, like and comment down below. Let me know that you're a new subscriber. And let me know what you love about this video or what you want to see. In retrospect, pre-pandemic, looking back on my life, I definitely did not have all my shit together. And I mean, for a person to actually get to that point and that realization, it really jolts you into wanting to take action to change your life and that is exactly what I did. So yeah, I had my degrees, I had my family, I had a really good life but I still was not like fully content because I knew deep down that I was not 100% the person that I could be. I knew that I was not meeting my full potential and I decided one day while looking at my surroundings to organize everything and change my life and live that life that i am grateful for the life that i want to live the beautiful life that i imagined and i wasn't going to wait for tomorrow i wasn't going to wait for the next day i was literally just going to start right now so what jolted me into action was something i saw on pinterest and i think i'm gonna read it for you all because this is what i would say made me want to change my life and create the life that I'm living now, the life that I'm leading, the life that I love, the life that I wouldn't trade for anything. And it goes like this. A beautiful life doesn't just happen. A beautiful life is selected. It is designed. It is built with a fiery intent to find joy in every little thing. It is how you fold your sheets and take your coffee in the morning. It is what you look forward to. It is what you plan. It is how you set your things throughout your space. We think that our greatest happiness comes spontaneously, but we often find our greatest joy in our rhythms, our routines, when we settle into a way of being that lights up every part of who we are. A beautiful life is one that reflects who, exactly who we are in every way we can. And that's by Brianna West. And guys, this is like the most beautiful quote I have ever read it's it's literally the thing that made me jolt into action and change my entire life and take pride in everything i do the life i lead now when i wake up in the morning i find joy in folding my sheets and ensuring that my bedroom is well kept and neat the only thing i would say that came from the only negative thing i would say that came from this is now i have like slight ocd but who cares because i am living my full potential i am living my best life i am living happily based on what i want for myself i am living according to my most authentic self and for that i am forever grateful to that quote like ever so often i go back to it and i just remember i remember how far i came and it's really a liberating feeling that is where the entire idea for beautiful living came about and my bio actually says beautiful living it's not about having the most lavish things or leading the most exciting life or going on the most expensive vacations it's just about how you do the things that you do that differentiates you that gives you that main character energy that makes you feel alive in your life and yeah that's it's a different kind of joy so before i leave i would just give you all some tips for organizing your space and organizing your life and these are tips that significantly helped me over the last two years two and a half years give or take to really be the person i am today and really change my life so if you're interested in my organization tips keep watching my first tip is to live minimally remember you do not need to live a lavish life you do not need to have expensive things or a lot of anything so declutter everything if it doesn't bring you joy throw it out eliminate clutter from your life and your surroundings and if you think about it you wouldn't even have that much to clean if you 
throughout the majority of it. When you're decluttering, ask yourself, do you need it? Do you use it? Do you love it? Do you have room for it? If you don't, throw it out, flat out. Declutter, eliminate all the clutter from your life in every aspect. If you hold on to too much shoes, throw all the ones you don't use. I recently did a shoe declutter and now I'm like so much happier with the shoes that I have. I would link the shoe declutter right here. I also did a declutter of my dresses. I would link that here as well. And I'm so much happier. I literally only have the things I love, I use, I need, and I have space for. The things that I enjoy using, things that bring me joy. So just declutter. The next tip is more so a life hack. And I'm certain you all would be familiar with it. It's basically to set aside specific times to clean. So if you have like an extra hour in your day, just to kick back and relax, instead of watching Netflix, put on a five minute timer. And within that five minutes alone, do as much cleaning as you possibly can. That way you actually make what seems as a big task just so small that it's palatable. My third tip is to change your daily habits to include frequent cleaning. For me, this was making my bed daily. That's one small task that I gave myself every day and now it became a habit. As soon as I get out of bed, I make my bed and I hate when people jump on my bed after I make it. Like that's one of my greatest pet peeves, period. Start by tasking yourself with a seven day challenge to make up your bed every day for seven days as soon as you get out of it. And then move to two weeks and before you know it you are 30 days and voila you have created a new habit just like that my next tip is to create a system keep like-minded items together have designated areas for everything for example i have a designated area for my makeup and my skincare and nail stuff i have a designated area for my shoes i literally sectioned off my closets in categories for example i have my tops my bottoms my gym wear and everyday wear and then my dresses so when i'm going for something i know exactly where i'm reaching for this specific thing i have my bags all in one place so i categorized everything in my life almost as if i'm compartmentalizing that i know exactly where to go to when I need something. So there isn't really the hustle of looking for items because I know exactly where to reach for it. I feel like everyone should acknowledge this hack or tip because it is game changing. And it is to fold your clothes as soon as they come out of the dryer. Do not keep clothes lying around because you create little closed mountains and then before you know it you have clutter all over so address the mess as soon as it comes out of the dryer fold it put it into its respective areas you know the areas you now created the designated areas that you just created in the tip before yeah put your clothes into those specific areas as soon as it come out of the dryer and you'll be good to go i mean i see it with such conviction now because i was one of those people that created clothes mountains you see that chair behind there that chair would literally be filled with clothes and i would just wear my clothes from that chair and then i grew up and i learned this tip so as soon as my clothes comes out of the dryer i would fold it immediately put it where it needs to be the separators out before i fold it so my next tip is to use draw organizers to ensure that your drawers don't get messy. For me, I use acrylic trays and this seems to work really well. The next tip improves on your last. You can use the same acrylic trays and get stackable containers to really maximize your space. This is a cute storage alternative. Next tip, always use uniform hangers. I can actually show you a comparison because half my closet has uniform hangers and the other half has mixed match hangers because i'm yet to declutter and organize that half of my closet but what i have found is when you use uniform hangers it actually saves on space and it looks way more aesthetic so you actually feel some type of way when you open your closet my second to last tip is to make your area look pretty so you feel satisfied in where you're at 
so when you wake up in the morning you're like yes this is my life and if i'm being honest you see this background my bedroom is always like this i do not need to clean it for youtube it's literally always as it is here so make your area look good so you feel good remember a beautiful life it doesn't just happen it's created and it's in how you do the things you do how you set your things about your space so make it look pretty so you feel satisfied and the last tip for organizing your life always put things back into its place those designated areas i've created a couple of tips ago for example as soon as i get home i always return my shoes to my shoe shelf and my handbag to my handbag shelf so everything is in its place at all times so guys that's how i changed my life and in retrospect i can't believe one thing i saw on pinterest really jolted me into action but it's such a beautiful feeling to be able to reflect on that thank you so much for staying with me until the end if you did comment a heart emoji at the bottom so i'll know who stay to the end i appreciate you all so much don't forget to subscribe like and comment down below i'm trying to get to a thousand subscribers so help me reach that goal until next time